Hey, everybody. I'm on my way right now to beautiful San Diego and figured it might is a good opportunity here to make this video. I won't have a lot of time later today. So uh, I decided to uh, check out this research paper. Energy based and transformers are scalable learners and thinkers put out by Amazon, Stanford University, Harvard, as well as a few other institutions. Essentially, the bottom line with this particular research paper is, is that I state this over and over again, that lots of people, they try to uh, make the argument that these models are just simply next token predictors and that's all that they do right um, and that's uh, kind of a tired argument within this and an out, a very outdated argument at this point right uh, so this particular framework is called energy-based transformers and there's a lot of information based off of this so they have the research paper the github repository uh, a separate paper a separate blog article uh, and then a separate paper outside of the research paper <laughs> and then so uh kind of all of these resources around it, right? And so the simplistic bottom line way to think of it is it's, um, to me, like the method is pretty straightforward as to how it uh, actually operates and works. Uh, so if we go here, uh, essentially how it works is the model takes in a uh, prediction. Um, and then so whatever that, like, you know, just like a, a normal prediction would work, uh, and then once that model uh, takes in that prediction, it uh, evaluates how uh, confident it is in that particular, particular prediction, just like a, a normal model would overall. And then if the model is uh, highly confident, then that's a low energy score. If the model is unconfident, that's a high energy score. And the model wants to conserve energy just like anything else. So you want a low energy score overall within this. Uh, and then traveling on the train, you can see my internet kind of cut out when I was running this particular notebook. But this particular notebook is just a uh, the actual code here uh, for the model that we're looking at and, and exactly how it works. So it utilizes the feed forward mechanism and back propagation, but uh, completely different than your typical model. Again, your typical model is utilizing the feed forward mechanism uh, as a next token prediction uh, and then just going through and doing that that next token prediction sequence whereas this is essentially creating the output and then that output is uh that scalar output is what replaces and that energy value from the scalar output it replaces that kind of uh, next token prediction so everything with regards towards like next token prediction that you would find in a typical model is replaced in this architecture uh, via like uh, and uh, replaced with this energy concept overall. And then diving specifically into the model, uh, it works for text, images, uh, et cetera, right? So it's it's uh, multimodality within this. And then uh, what we're kind of researching and, and breaking down within this is, is that like kind of modality is um, less important overall uh, when it comes to the models. Uh, you can uh, text, video, audio, et cetera. If you can utilize these methods and then train these models uh, via these methods on different modalities overall. So highlighting that this is a generalizable system uh, specifically for system two thinking, right? That's exactly what they try to do. System two thinking is with regards towards like uh, problem modality uh, and then trying to solve uh, problems within that. And then so uh, within this, they showed that this particular approach does outscale typical feed forward transformers. So they like that next token prediction with all of their uh, training and all of their methods overall, uh, they show like time and time again that it's outperforming uh, those methods within this particular framework. So super cool. Uh, overall within this. I'll leave a link to everything here so you can get access to it, take a look at the research paper, uh, the benchmarks, their blog article, uh, as well as the code um, that they put out and then the code that I have here uh, running this model here and then we evaluating it. And then this is uh, my performance here. I had to stop it again, but like uh, interesting overall, so the loss rate is decreasing. This model is uh, learning overall. And then again, it's learning on its own um, predictions, right? Like it's its own, but it's predictions converted to energy. Uh, and then that's kind of the different thing. So it's like 100% different than your next token prediction architecture overall. So um, kind of a big uh, 
innovation with regards towards that. And then we can see here the loss rate starting to go down pretty significantly, like the lower the better uh, we want with this loss rate, right? So um, this this uh, between step 1200 and, and step 1400, that's pretty significant loss there. So um, models performing good overall. Uh, the framework is interesting. I actually like um, I what caught my eye with this framework was uh, actually on my LinkedIn. Uh, Jan Lacoon was mentioning it and had given a shout out to this particular framework. So I decided to look into it and evaluate it more. And it's super cool overall. It's it's different, right? Um, and that's kind of the I don't know. To me, it's uh, when I'm looking for what to evaluate with regards towards these papers and technology and everything like that. What what is different to me is like the bottom line that I look towards, right? We're kind of at this point, well, like two, three years deep into uh, a lot of this, these research areas with regards towards like reinforcement learning and like uh, agent-based AI and like kind of everything around those things overall. So anything that's different is generally what catches my eye, right? Like what's outside of the norm. Uh, and then this definitely uh, is within that. It's a uh, interesting concept overall. Like I, I've seen variations of this concept uh, from a lot of different people, right? Where it's essentially, you're really just feeding the model's outputs back in on itself, right? This, this energy concept is uh, derived based off of like how confident the model is and its scores uh, and its reasoning. So you're, you're just really just going back and, and, feeding the the model back its own predictions right and then within that it's uh doing that over and over again it guides the model towards uh learning overall in this instance and then some uh super cool architecture overall again i'll leave a link to all these resources and if you like this type of content please like subscribe thank you very much